What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? So, you know, I didn't want to have to do a video like this because honestly I didn't want to have to go to war with anybody. But, you know, sometimes somebody does something that's just like so messed up that you feel like you have to speak up, you have to say something about it just because it was just, it's just so wrong on every level. So I had been talking to Brad, the guitologist. Um, you guys might know him. I'll put a link in the description so you can go check out his channel if you want. I mean, if you, if you want. Um, but I had been talking to him and I told him about this uh, older amp that I had that was my grandfather's. And I'm like, the thing is, is it's not working. I don't really know for sure exactly what's wrong with it. I don't really trust it in the hands of anybody, you know. Uh, but I, you know, I watched some of his videos. I felt that he was competent enough to you know work with this amp and I'm like do you think that you know you might be able to fix this amplifier and he's like well what's wrong with it I'm like it, do it doesn't work you know it, do it doesn't work it doesn't turn on so he's like yeah go ahead and ship it to me and I'll take a look at it and then um, you know whatever is wrong with it like I'll fix and then just as you know as we start fixing things you know I'll just tell you how much it's gonna cost and you know as we, we just start moving up so you can say you know stop here whatever okay so I'm thinking okay well this is fair right so I go ahead and I take the amp I box it up I send it to him and um, he has it for like a few days and he contacts me and he's like well um, found out what's wrong with the amp right and so I'm like cool okay well you know what's wrong with it and he's like you know something hang on hang on hang on you know I was thinking maybe it'd just be better if I actually showed you the amp so it'd make more sense but I, he ends up telling me, oh, this is what's wrong, Will. He's like, the, the problem, I hope I can lift this fucking thing. This thing's heavy as hell. Um, he's like, the problem is, is um, the battery's dead, right? And I'm like, hang on for a second. So he's like, yeah, the battery's dead. And I'm like, uh, I don't even think this takes a battery. And he's like, no, it, it definitely takes a battery. And um, he's like, it takes a battery and it's dead. And then he's like, well, what kind of battery do you want? And so I'm like, well, what are you planning on putting in? Because I'm testing them, right? And he's like, well, I was thinking about putting like a Duracell inside there. And I'm like, I knew it. I knew it. He's trying to rip me up. I'm like, listen, Rayovac, Rayovac. Rayovac batteries will give you a warmer tone. When People always go with Duracell when they don't understand about tone batteries, right? Rayovac gives you a warmer tone, right? It's going to end up, it's, it's richer. Right, it's, it's definitely, it sounds more like you're playing with a neck pickup, right? And I have a bright guitar, so I need a tone battery, a Rayovac. He's trying to sell me a Duracell, which is just going to make it sound more bright. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be all ear piercing. But he's trying to sell me a Duracell, and I'm thinking, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing, right? I sent my amp to the wrong person. Then he's like, hey, I went ahead and I took the liberty, and as soon as I heard that, I'm like, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. He's like, I took the liberty, I did some mods to it. And I'm like, what did you do to my grandfather's amplifier? Right? And he's like, I made it better. And then as soon as I'm, I'm like, send it back. Send it back. Right? He's like, well, don't you want me to tell I'm like, just send it back because I know you ruined it. You know? And I'm like, you know something? I'm going to do a review. I'm going to do a review on this. I'm going to tell people basically the type of, like, treatment that I ended up getting. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, everybody, it's, you're going to be exposed, dude. You know, I've got a lot of subs. People are going to find out the kind of trash work you do and whatnot. So let me go ahead and mic this up and plug it in so you can hear. You can hear what he had done. you got to find the sweet spot for that speaker. Thinking. Mm. Right, right there. It already sounds like crap. Doesn't even work! Oh wait, volume. Oh god, that's awful! Sounds like 
shit. <laughs> It doesn't have any body at all. It's just like thin sounding. It's shit. I want to throw it. I want to throw it. I'm so angry right now. This sounds like crap. He's giving me the Java blues. I'll give you an example of the Java Blues. Let me switch over to a clean channel on my amp here that used to be a good amp until he ruined it. All right. Java Blues. Pucha, pucha solo. Kawabuki. You know what probably bothers me the most about all of this? It's not like it's an amp you can just get anywhere. I used to have an amp that worked. It used to belong to my granddad, Jeff. But now it's all fucked up because of this that's only bread. I think I'm going to have to shoot him in the head. Coming for you, Brad. My, my amp is ruined. He, ru he ruined my amp. There's, there's going to be a lawsuit. There's going to be a lawsuit. This is ridiculous. I mean, that was my granddad's, you know. And then he, I'm going to take the liberty of doing a mod. I'm going to take the liberty using wrong tone batteries. He, he ruined it. He ruined it. Anyway, guys, I'm upset. I, I don't even want to continue this video. I, I'm done. I'm upset. This, this bothers me so much. I'm going to contact my attorney. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Anyway, guys, I'm turning the camera off. I'm done. See you later. Bye.